What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I'm going to be showing you some of my rarest WWE Elite figures. <laughs> So in today's video, guys, I am going to be taking you through some of the rarest figures in my WWE action figure collection. Obviously, this is not all of them. I just picked out a select few that I thought were pretty rare. Um, I, I know I did miss out on quite a few, but I just I didn't want to load up the video, but I didn't want to only have like two or three. So here they are, guys. We're just going to go through them. I'm going to tell you the Elite Series, you know, what I like about the figure, maybe what I don't like about the figure, yada, 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 background information and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and get started. Started. So the first two figures that we have up right here, guys, are the Elite Six Crime Time. We have Elite Six JTG and Elite Six Shad, and these figures are pretty freaking rare, guys. I mean, Crime Time, you know as well as I do, have not been around for a very long time. They've done very good in the indies ever since leaving the WWE, but I was always a fan of these guys, and uh, they all they always crack me up. I loved how they pushed the boundary with these guys as well. They have great molds, a lot of first-time molds that we haven't seen. I don't think ever again, so it's kind of crazy. They got the Timberland boots on, and they're just a fantastic little pair here. I'm missing a lot of their accessories, which is unfortunate, but uh, one day I will track them down and get them. They're great figures, you know, great articulation and stuff like that. I think there's something wrong with the JTG legs, like if you like push them together they want to like go back out so I don't know what that is it may just be the like hinges or something it's like when you push them forward it's kind of like stiff and stuff but uh, yeah we have the Elite 6 Crime Time next up we do have the Elite 12 Justin Gabriel and I remember back when Finn Balor came to the WWE when he first signed with NXT, people were using this head scan for Finn Balor, and I can see why you can see some resemblance to Finn Balor. This is a really awesome elite. I don't know why he's not in the pick fed, but Justin Gabriel is a fantastic performer, still doing well to this day in professional wrestling. This figure has very nice attire. I love the blue, silver, and black on the tights. Uh, the freaking kick pads are beautiful as well. You have like some wings or something on the back right there. Little diamond pattern going down. Just a fantastic figure. Great articulation. And he's just a high flyer type guy. Like he would be wonderful for a, uh, a pick fit or a cruiserweight division. You could definitely push him on your, uh, you know, mid card, under card. Even a main event guy. I mean, the, the guy is definitely limitless. He has a great mold and it's a great head scan. So that's a terrific Elite 12 Justin Gabriel. Next up, we have one of my favorite wrestlers, like, ever, I swear to God. Uh, John Morrison is so beautiful. Johnny Nitro, if you want to get technical, guys. We have the Elite Four John Morrison right here, guys. And this is such a beautiful Elite. You know, John Morrison, ever since leaving the company, just like Justin Gabriel has done, wonders like he's done so many great things he's won multiple championships across like endless promotions he's uh became a movie director he's really passionate about making movies and stuff so he's just a fantastic guy he made his own uh movie starring himself he comes with a beautiful like fur jacket right here which is one of my favorite accessories and uh i, I threw these shades on here this isn't his shades i need to paint white crosses on the shades there but this is a great figure i love the attire apparently we're getting a re-release of this on amazon on. I don't know. I, that's just a rumor I heard. But uh, I love the molds. The belt is molded on, not painted on. They did a really uh, a, a lot of like great things with this figure, guys. Like even the uh, I love how they did the uh, fur at the bottom right here with the tassels. I think that's great. This is easily one of my favorite figures in my collection. Even spinning it around, you have the diamond pattern and stuff going down the side there. But this is a really underrated figure. And if you don't have a John Morrison, guys, track it down. It's expensive, but it's definitely worth it. Next up, we do have the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels, and this figure is phenomenal, especially with this head scan right here. This is not the head scan that it came with. It did come with like a completely shaven head scan, but I think it looks way better with the bearded head scan on there. You got his uh, last match ever in the defining moments line right here, guys. You got the white and like bronzish gold with black crosses, and this is a beautiful attire. You guys know how I am about the color white, so you got white going down all the way. And I just think this head scan does great on this figure. It just like makes it pop. Makes it, it literally captures the end of Shawn Michaels' career so beautifully. And it is an expensive figure. Huge shout out to my boy Blake Banks for hooking me up with this figure uh, when he got out of his uh, you know collecting days. So this is uh, a fantastic figure. If you don't have this figure, you definitely need one. I wish we would get more long pants Shawn Michaels near the end of his career in the pants because I just love these look. The elites look so freaking nice. But next up, we have the ringside exclusive 
Flash, Rey Mysterio, and this figure is very beautiful. I remember when I was a kid, my uh, one of my best friends had the Jax version of this figure, and I was always so very jealous of it, and I used to like want it so bad. So when I got the Mattel Elite version, I was like freaking out. It's really cool. You got the uh, lightning bolts going all around the side. If I'm not mistaken, this was one of the first ringside exclusive elites. Like we had Rey Mysterio, and I know the Straight Edge Society Punk. I don't remember which came first, but uh, you know you got Rey going down the side over here in like that nice font, and on the other side you have the 619. I wish the 619 uh, was in this same font. I think that'd be cool. Obviously, it wouldn't be accurate, but it would have made the attire cooler. He's got really cool gloves on there with the white, red, and black. Red molded shirt on there with like a flash slash ray, uh, you know, logo on there. The mask and the face scan is beautiful. I just think the red and yellow contrast looks so great. And then he has his red uh, boots to top it all off. It's just a really fantastic figure. If you could get any Ray Mysterio Elite, I would definitely recommend that one. Next, we have the Elite 9 Zack Ryder with the headband, guys. Uh, right here we have, you know, his unique tights look. He had the long tights and then the no tights on this side with the knee pad. And this is a really cool figure. I love the boots they gave this guy. I wish that all of his elites came with these boots. They just molded them perfectly. They are painted perfectly. It's just a great Zack Ryder figure. Obviously, it's for, it's for me, I think this is too small for Zack Ryder's torso. But back then, he wasn't near as big as he is now. However, I would like to update this uh, torso. But it's a great head scan. It does look just like Zack Ryder. He's got the molded headband on there with the woo-woo-woo on it. It's just a great figure, guys. It's the Elite 9. You definitely need to grab it if you don't have it. So we have a Zack Ryder. He's got a cool little decal on the side right there. But that's a really cool piece. Next up, we do have the Elite 3 Miz. And this is definitely throwback, guys. I mean, look at this guy. What the hell is he wearing? If you compare this to what the Miz is like now, and you know he's really, like, you know, sort of rich and wearing suits and wearing, you know, all this nice gear and the gold and everything... And now he's, or back then, he was freaking rucking these long jorts and shorts with kick pads and a sleeve and gloves and just, it looked like this man, he looks like a freaking backyard wrestler is what this guy looks like in this. I mean, am I right? Jesus. Just looks crazy as hell. He's got all kinds of crazy, like, uh, affliction and, like, uh, tribal stuff going on. I don't know, man. Rare figure, but he, he was looking retarded back in the day. Used to freaking hate him. Could not stand the Miz back then. Uh, still not the biggest fan of him, but uh, anyways, I do respect him. And last but not least, guys, we have the Elite 12 Kane, which obviously is getting a re-release in the Hall of Champions, but uh, this is the OG, the Elite 12 and I know for a fact a lot of people love this figure. For a lot of people, it's their favorite figure ever. It's definitely one of mine. It's just a great figure. It looks so beautiful. Iconic looking cane with the one sleeve. And uh, the red and black so saturated. Mattel did a really good job on this. I wish that they could somehow make cane more bi like uh, bigger. I just don't know if like... It's like weird. It's like if they made him any bigger, it would be probably too big but i don't know it's like the shoulders or something makes him look a bit too skinny or something kane was like jacked i don't know i'm being weird but the ringside exclusive kane you can see it better the one with the hardcore championship that one it's more noticeable but with this one it's not too too bad but i do love this figure to death it's just so nice again uh got the tall boots got the uh black flames going down black flames going there just a really just a beautiful attitude era kane right there from when he entered the company, just so dominant. And, you know, one of the most iconic behind The Undertaker, most definitely. And, of course, his beautiful gauntlets on the sides there. But that pretty much does it for this portion of the rare figures in my Elite Collection. But, yes, guys, that about does it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you liked this little video of me showing off some flashback elites and some older elite rare figures in my collection, please let me know down in the comment section below if you enjoyed it. Leave a like, comment down below your favorite figure from today's video video. Maybe uh, comment down below if you have any of these figures in your collection and if you like any of them. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure related videos and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.